day Every day can be a better day despite the challenge All you gotta do is leave it better than you found it Good morning, Horseman. Welcome, welcome to the Horseman Video News. Today is Monday, September 19th, 2022. My name is Abby. Please st stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's head over to Alex for your delicious Monday. Today's lunch is breaded fish sandwich, broccoli, mandarin oranges, and milk. That's a hell of lunch. Today will be 77 degrees with scattered thunderstorms. The rest of the week, you can expect warm temperatures and dry skies. It will cool down a little, little over the weekend. Now over to Abby and Alex for this week's birthdays. Kylie Gould. Liesl Lem and Jocelyn Grega celebrate birthdays this week. Happy birthday to all of you. Diverse Universe held their first meeting last Monday with a great turnout. Their first order of business was to explore the meanings of diversity, empathy, and inclusivity. It was a great discussion with many important ideas coming from everyone. Afterward, the club members created artwork to show what they learned and how they feel about diversity. It is all on display in the library by the Diverse Universe side. Check it out next time you head to the library. Passenger trains that don't pollute? Yes, please. Germany has replaced some of their diesel trains with hydrogen-powered trains. Most trains that run today are diesel-fueled, which creates a lot of pollution. The new hydrogen-powered trains go just as fast, making almost no noise, and they do not create pollution. They only create steam from water. Other countries, like France and Italy, are building new hydrogen-powered trains, too. Imagine how much better the Earth would be if all diesel trains were replaced by hydrogen trains. We continue to celebrate Hispanic heritage this week. One way to celebrate is through Hispanic food. I bought, I brought a few examples of Hispanic foods. Have you tried any of these? Guacamole, made from avocados invented by the Aztecs of the 1500s. These are tamales. Yummy corn dough and fillings wrapped in corn husks. They are very popular around Christmas and and are thought to have been created around about 10,000 years ago. These are conchas. Cookie-topped soft Mexican sweet breads. These, these are empanadas. They are filled with beef, beef, olives, and raisins. These are our, our RA pods. Flatbreads made of corn dough. They are common in Colombia and Venezuela. Joke time! What do you call an alligator and a vest? I don't know what. An investigator! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to today's Horace Man News Broadcast. This is Abby, Alex, and Henry. Have a wonderful world-class week. Be kind, be curious, and be you. This news is in and we're out.